In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. All praises due to Allah the Almighty, the Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace, mercy, and blessings be upon His final and last messenger, Muhammad. And may Allah's peace, mercy, and blessings be upon each and every one of you, dear viewers, watching this new episode of her program, Peace Be Upon You. In today's episode, my dear viewers, we will be exploring the answer to a very important question. And the question reads, what is the ruling on observing the fasting of the month of Ramadan? To answer this question, I need first to give you a quick overview of the types of hukm shari or the types of the legal ruling when it comes to the do's and the don'ts according to the Islamic jurisprudence. According to the majority of the scholars of Usul al-Fiqh or the scholars of the principles of the Islamic jurisprudence, there are five types of the legal ruling when it comes to the do's and the don'ts in the Islamic jurisprudence. The first of them is that which is wajib or fard. And wajib or fard means that which is obligatory, that which is imperative. The second of them is that which is mandub or mustahab. And this means that which is recommended or preferable. The third of them is that which is haram or mahdur. And this means that which is prohibited or that which is unlawful. The fourth one is that which is makru. And this could be translated in, into English as that which is disliked or that which is reprehensible. And the fifth one here is that which is mubah. And mubah means permissible. <laughs> to the question here and that's what is the ruling on observing the fasting of the month of Ramadan so to answer this question in light of this very brief introduction about the legal ruling in or under the Islamic jurisprudence as a matter of fact observing the fasting of the month of Ramadan is obligatory it is wajib or fard as proved by the noble quran the authentic sunnah of the prophet sallallahu and the consensus of the muslim scholars so we read in the noble quran allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling us in chapter al-baqarah ya ayyuha alladhina amanu كُتِبَ عَلَيْكُمُ الصِّيَامُ كَمَا كُتِبَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا كُتِبَ عَلَيْكُمُ الصِّيَامُ كَمَا كُتِبَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ In the name of Allah, the merciful, the compassionate. O oh, you who believe, fasting is ordained for you as it was ordained for those before you, that you may be pious. Here we read in the verse kutiba or prescribed. And kutiba here means forida, i.e., it has been prescribed as an obligation. Also, the verse reads ayaman ma'dudat. And that's for a particular number of days. And the days here refer to the days of the month of Ramadan.
فمن كان منكم مريضا أو على سفر فعدة من أيام أخر In the name of Allah, the merciful, the compassionate. For a certain number of days, but whoever among you is ill or is traveling, then he may fast a similar number of other days. This is why we read in the upcoming verse, شَهْرُ رَمَضَانَ الَّذِي أُنزِلَ فِيهِ الْقُرْآنِ That it is the month of Ramadan during which the noble Qur'an has been revealed. شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليصم In the name of Allah, the merciful the compassionate. The month of Ramadan is that in which the Qur'an was revealed as a guidance for people. In it are clear signs of guidance and criterion. Therefore, whoever of you witnesses this month, it is obligatory on him to fast it. Also in the teachings of the Prophet Sallallahu we know in the hadith of the pillars of Islam, the Prophet Sallallahu mentioned among the five pillars Sawmu Ramadan, and that's observing the fasting of the month of Ramadan. Additionally, my dear viewers, all the Muslim scholars, including the four Imams, that's Imam Abu Hanifa, and Imam Malik, and Imam al-Shafi'i, and Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal, all of them unanimously are in agreement that the fasting of the month of Ramadan is obligatory on every Muslim, man and woman, who is balagh. And balagh here means who reached or who attained the age of puberty and discretion. And Aqil. Aqil means to be of a sound mind and who is free from anything that would not allow them to fast. Like for instance, if uh, a woman is experiencing the uh, post-delivery bleeding and also for him or her to be muqim. Muqim here means to be residing in their permanent place and for them to be qadirun ala sawm i.e. able to observe the fasting and the ability here indicates both the physical ability and the mental one. So as we are moving to the end, my dear viewers, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to enable us to observe the fasting of the month of Ramadan in the way that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and corresponds to the guidance of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 